My greatest tip for you and your channel for 2023 is... We are gonna talk about it after the intro. Today something a bit different. I'm gonna talk about my journey on YouTube from the beginning, but especially I'm focusing on 2022, which was my best year on this platform. I'm gonna share some tips, things that did work on my channel and also my insights and earnings. Hello guys, welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Mamware. Hit the subscribe button right now because I hope this video is gonna help you out. Christmas time, home time here in Italy with family, best time of the year. Well, for me it is. As I mentioned, I'm gonna talk about YouTube, the things that did work for my channel, and we're gonna start from some insights of my channel. So let's get into the platform, in particular into the analytics of the channel. Let's check where I am at in 20, actually at the end of 2022, this is December 2022. And uh, first of all, I want to let you know that in this year, in the past year, I shared and created 45 videos. So almost one video every eight days, more or less. That's the average. My aim was to actually build two videos per week, but I couldn't manage to do that also because I'm working full time. But definitely that's something that may increase my followers, first of all, because in the previous years, I never created so many videos in 365 days. You will see I'm at 9,547 followers right now. And let's go to the analytics and let's see how my channel grew, especially again in the past year. Righty, let's get some insights. So you will see here the amount of videos I've shared during the year. So certain weeks I shared two videos, certain weeks one video, certain weeks four videos. So depending on my free time, uh, that's what I did. And exactly, I do this in my spare time. But I took it quite seriously in 2022. Actually, from 2022 today, I took YouTube quite seriously. And that's something I think you have to do if you want to start getting some money and make this your, well, I can't really say living for now, but definitely if you put a lot of effort into it, it will turn into some good earning one day. You can see some of my stats right here. And I had 605,000 views on my channel in the past year, which to me is quite a lot if you think about how many people are watching your videos, 41K, uh, hours of watch time, 3,900 subscribers in one year. Again, this is the best year so far for me. So I gained 4,000 followers in 365 days and I almost earned 3,000 uh, British pound. Now, if we go through all the stats here, you will see the increase of each value. I started with 1,200 views in December 2021 and I'm now at 1,800 per day. So that's pretty good. So I had an increase of almost 600 views per day. What is gonna interest you, I guess, is subscribers. And at the end of 2021, I had an average of maybe 10 followers per day. Today I go from, yeah, still 10 to 20. It increased a little bit, not that much actually in the past year. In terms of revenue, that's definitely increased. At the end of 2021, more or less, I was getting five pound per day. And nowadays I get almost double. So we get to 10 uh, pound per day. So if you're curious about my revenue, at the end of 2022, uh, this month, I'm probably getting, as you can see here, in November I had 333 pound and hopefully it's gonna be the same in December 2022. I guess these are the most important things you wanted to know from a YouTube channel with uh, this kind of capacity in terms of subscribers and views. So 10,000 subscribers and again, in terms of views, I get uh, 605K views per year. 
as you can see here, 57% more than the previous year. So that's a lot because I built more videos and I focus more on the channel as well. Now I wanna talk about things that made me earn more through YouTube. And it's not just about videos that I shared on the platform, but other things that you can do to build your income. First of all, I created an Amazon affiliated account, which means you create an account on Amazon and then you can create different links for different products. So every product I talk about on my channel, I actually put a link in the description of the video uh, that takes you to Amazon. If you purchase that item through my link, I will get a tiny percentage. Maybe in, uh, in a couple of months, you get an extra 30 pounds if people buy from your link. It's a tiny you know, amount, but it adds to the YouTube income. So that's one way to get some extra cash. But also as my channel focuses on camera gear, especially video making tips and so on, a lot of companies get in touch with me and send me equipment to review. So I make some money by selling this equipment, but also I get paid sometimes to create promotional videos, reviews and so on. And that's all extra money that comes thanks to YouTube because the companies see my videos, they like it and they get in touch. Disclaimer though, I always share honest reviews. So I test the gear as you can see from my videos and if I like the product, I let you know. If I don't like it, I let you know anyway. So I want to be honest with my community online and the companies actually know my method of working and they can't really say anything about it. If you want to know more about how I built my channel uh, with camera gear companies and how that works, go and check my previous video up here. We're gonna go to the next uh, category I wanted to talk about in terms of YouTube and uh, we're gonna talk about how, what I've done actually on my channel to make it better and to improve the quality of my, of my videos, but also the amount of subscribers and views. First of all, you want to check the analytics. That's what I've done with you previously. Regularly, I do it daily, more than once a day, actually maybe a bit too much. But uh, that's something you want to keep an eye on because you can understand what's working and what is not working for you. And my first impression was that my channel had too many subjects. I was talking about too many things because I started my channel in 2009 and I was sharing uh, film trailers I was working on when I was working for television, but I was, I was also sharing holiday videos, travel vlogs, Premiere Pro video editing tutorials, camera gear reviews, so a lot of different things. And uh, people didn't know what to expect from my channel, but also the algorithm wasn't really sure what my channel was about. So I started to hide all the other videos, the older videos, I kept some, but still related to the main subject of my channel, which is video making and camera gear. So that really helped, I think, to narrow down my audience, but also to help the algorithm to pick my channel and start to suggest my channel to a bigger audience. What I noticed as well, I tried to give and create videos about tips on how to do video making or photography and those videos don't really work on my channel for some reason. So I started to create videos about equipment, about bigger brands of camera gear and that works because the amount of people to me that are searching for the big brands are more than people looking for tips. So that really helps to grow my channel as well. You see, you understand all these different things, you know, uh, with the time and checking the analytics and it's just basically trying what's best for you. So the tip here is to find your niche. Don't be generic. Try to narrow down your subject and stick to that subject. Then uh, trends, of course, work out. Once in a while, something happens in the world that's going to influence everything. You can see it in the news, videos, whatever is around this subject. It could be a TV series, it could be a big film coming out, a toy, a game, whatever. So what works on YouTube, I've noticed not just on my channel, but the biggest YouTuber out there as well. For example, a film comes out and they try to find a connection from this trend and their channel. 
I give you an example. Last year, a few years ago, a big TV series came out. The TV series was Squid Game. And different YouTubers with different subjects actually found a way to link to this TV series. Talking about camera gear as myself, they created, for example, how to light up a scene from Squid. So, as you can see, there is still the trend of Squid that brings you the viewers, but also they talk about their own subject, which is video making, how to light up a, a scene. So how to use lights for video making and filmmaking. So that's the kind of example I wanted to share with you. Uh, it could be anything else. If you are a costume designer, you can say how to build a costume uh, like Squid, Squid Game um, TV series. But you also want to do this as soon as you hear the news about this big trend. Otherwise, the trend goes by and you've lost your train, if you know what I mean. So you really need to uh, be quick in making the content. About the trends also, bear in mind that some trends come back with the ears. I give you another example that is here on my channel. You can just go and check it out. When I was working for Sony Pictures 10 years ago, I made a trailer for the film Hulk and I put it on my YouTube channel as well. So that thing wasn't going very, very well, to be honest. No one was really watching it. Then after 10 years, something happened in the world and this video, this trailer just went For some reasons, I still don't know, but I think maybe a game came out called Hulk or something like that and people were looking for Hulk trailers and they just found my trailer on my YouTube channel. So in a week or in a couple of weeks, I had 20K views or something like that. So um, again, who, who knows what's happening in the world? Just throw out as much as you can, of course, related to your channel. As I work as a professional video maker, that definitely that helped in creating vlogs because whenever I'm on a professional job, I try to squeeze in a vlog as well for you guys where I share tips and the gear I'm using. So I was trying to match my uh, professional world with YouTube world. And that's another tip I'm giving you. So try to merge your daily life with YouTube. It definitely helps in putting out content that makes sense for your channel. Just make it easy for yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't be scared to create different videos about the same channel. And here I give you an example and you can actually check it on my channel. I have made, I think, three videos for a particular gimbal, like a stabilizer by Oham, if I'm not wrong. And uh, one was a manual, so how to use the gimbal. One was a, an actual review, so what I thought about this gimbal. And one was just a comparison between this gimbal and another brand. And the three videos performed really well because people were looking for this item a lot and it just pushed my views and subscribers. So why not? What I've learned and actually what I've been learning still, I'm not the best on this, is thumbnails. You want to really focus on the thumbnails make sure they represent what you're talking about in the video. And that's something another friend of mine, uh, Nemanja Sekulic, uh, told me, go and check him out, he's doing great and is sharing a lot of great content on his platform. Some of the biggest YouTubers focus and spend more time on the thumbnail than on the actual video, because that's the first thing the audience notices and if you have a great thumbnail, they're gonna click on it, the job is done more or less. So we're going to talk about how to increase the subscribers. And again, that's my personal story. How did I increase my subscribers? My channel wasn't doing great, but again, in the past year, I gained 4,000 followers, which I think it's great. I mean, one of my friends got a thousand K in a year, but it's a different story. Everyone has got his own journey. So this is mine. And um, things that help my subscribers to gain subscribers were to create Facebook groups, again, related to the subjects of my YouTube channel. I've got a lot of uh, groups on Facebook talking about camera gear, selling camera gear, vlogs, travel vlogs, and I have thousands, thousands of members. So that's a great way to talk to people because you are the admin of the groups and you can really create an intro video, a welcome video. You can talk to everyone, share things and just send these members to your YouTube channel. Also, these groups helped me a lot to connect with camera gear companies once again. 
so they get in touch and send me camera gear to review. Important thing is also to reply to comments either on Facebook and on YouTube. I really try to reply to every single comment on YouTube and Facebook because that's your community. You need to take care of your community, help them out, give them more than what you receive and they will follow you. Many people put comments on your YouTube channel but they don't subscribe. So in the reply, just say, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the, like, hit the subscribe button right now. You won't regret it. I mean, uh, just invite them to subscribe. Collaborations with other creators and YouTubers, that helps a lot. It, actually, in this way, you can collaborate with different YouTubers that talk about different subjects. You are a video maker. You can make a video for them. So it's a good cross-promotion and uh, you, you're going to gain good friends as well, but also the followers of this other guy or girl, they might come to your channel and vice versa. Make engaging content, which doesn't mean you have to create the best quality content out there. Of course, quality matters. So try to learn some video making skills, put them into practice, but give interesting content, share things that people can learn from. Don't just put out there random stuff because after two seconds you will lose the interest of the audience. If you're sharing travel vlogs, don't do holidays where you just talk about yourself and you don't share anything. Share tips, you know, give things to the viewer, otherwise you will lose them. And that's about anything. If you want to share about, uh, I don't know, how to paint your nails, don't just show how to do it. Talk about it, you know, share tips and make it engaging. My website, that really helped me as well to send viewers to my channel. I have a professional website for my video making and photography uh, services. I send out newsletters about products, about uh, just saying hello, my new vlogs, tips and tutorials. And I just ask to the members of my website to go to my YouTube channel. Also during the pandemic, something that really helped me was to build a video editing course online. It took me four months, big job, but I gained thousands of students on different platforms. And uh, actually, you can go and check it out. I leave the links down here or in the card up there. You will find it on my personal website. Go and check it out right now if you want to learn more about video editing in Premiere Pro. And that was a great way to send my students again to my YouTube channel because I was giving free tips from YouTube. I was saying, hey, if you want to learn more about this subject, go and check my new vlog. And they were coming and subscribing to uh, my channel here on YouTube. So the big tip that gathers everything here on YouTube for you guys for 2023 is build your community. You are part of my community. I thank you for being here on my channel, but you have to do so in different ways. As you can see, there are different platforms. Just gather people and make them part of your community, make them feel welcome and give them more than what you can get from anyone else. If you want to take this journey seriously, it's a lot of work. It can be a full time job. I worked on this channel. I'm not sure how many hours, days, months. It's crazy the amount of time you put into it. But it's fun. It can give you some money at the end of the day and you can do it from anywhere in the world. That's one of the best things I get from YouTube because it gives me freedom. But also my job gave me a lot of freedom so I merged the two things and I can work here from Italy now instead of London where I live. If you have any questions about video making, content production, YouTube, whatever my journey, uh, drop it down here in the comment tabs. Go and follow me on Instagram on at Mamo Air, and also you can check my website and my courses, of course. I can't wait to see you in 2023. Hit the subscribe button right now if you haven't yet. And I'll see you on the other side of the new year. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.